my GCSE biology syllabus statement 330 and here we're talking about mutation as a rare event which changes genetic material that can be inherited in the diagram here we have a molecule DNA and down here we can see the base sequence ACT GAA CCG and so on so this is the base sequence you'll remember is what constitutes the gene and of course you'll also remember that the form of the gene is called the allele certain events certain processes can result in a change in this base sequence so if we look here we have the base sequence A C T and here this has been changed to A a T. This change creates a new version of the allele. So we have another allele produced here. It's possible that this allele will result in the production of an entirely different protein and have an entirely different effect on the phenotype. This is consistent with the idea of where in genetics we've been talking about allele big A and allele little a, the dominant and the recessive. The reason why such alleles exist, why different alleles exist, is because of the process which is known as mutation, which changes the base sequence of the gene.